good part three of evaluating functions as substituting a particular value in your function. And I've said, well, well, let's try some harder questions now. But really, are these hard questions? I don't believe so. Eh? Let's say we have a function where the variable is x, uh, I don't know, I can do anything, minus 5x squared uh, plus x over 5 plus 2x. Okay, and we have to evaluate this function for f. What shall we do? Can we pick a number? Shall we do a negative number? Let's do a positive number first, so we'll do a negative afterwards, let's say 4. Okay, now, I'm not doing all of this in my calculator, yeah, because I don't have to. I'm going to write down my workings, because that's going to give me points. Minus 5 times 4 squared, let's write it down, plus x, so plus 4, and all of that divided by 5 plus 2 times x, so 2 times 4. So the numerator now becomes minus 5 times 16 plus 4, and so please take care of both master and big master. It's really important. Over 5 plus 8, yeah, I multiply it before I add. Now let's have a look. Minus 5 times 16. Now perhaps some of you need a calculator for that. That is going to be minus 80, yeah. And minus 80 plus 4 is minus 76, okay, over. And then perhaps you use a calculator for the denominator. However, 5 plus 8, you are expected to be able to find out that that is 13. All right. Now, if I look at my fraction here, this is a top-heavy fraction now, or an improper fraction. So we're going to turn that into a mixed number. So the question now is, how many times does 13 fit into 76? Yeah, or minus 76, if I can just give the answer here, I'll put a minus sign. So how many times is that going to fit? Well, six times is 60 plus 18, so it's going to be 78. So that's not going to fit. So it's going to fit five times. And five times 13 is 50, 65. Now my remainder is going to be 11 which still has to be divided by 13. So minus 5, 11 over 13, okay? Now, just to show you that that is correct, perhaps you have a, a better looking calculator than I have, but if you put in the fraction minus 76 over 13, yeah, equals, it tells you minus 5, 11 over 13. Yes, yeah, so I was actually correct. Okay, again, you have a better looking calculator, but make sure that you write it down as a mixed number, yeah, rather than leaving it as a top heavy or improper fraction. Okay, so I've evaluated fx for x is 4, and the answer to that is minus 5, 11 over 13. Now, I know I'm talking too much, but I want to do the same function again, but now for a negative number. I'm going to do it a little bit quick, fx. Uh, equals, let me write down the function, minus 5x squared plus x and 5 plus 2x. Yeah. Now let's say we have to do it for minus 2. The reason I want to give you this example is the following. Because when you are squaring an x, many of you in their calculator do minus 2 squared. And then the answer is, the answer your calculator gives you anyway is minus 4. But that is wrong, because you are actually telling your calculator to do 2 squared with a minus sign in front of it. Yeah? Those are uh, the implications of both mass. Yeah? So if you have to do minus 2 squared, make sure always to put brackets around it. Or you realize that minus 2 times itself, so minus 2 times minus 2, is a positive 4, not a negative 4. That is a mistake I see every day. And it's so unnecessary. We don't need to calculate for that. Okay, so what did I do? I substituted minus 2 in my function. So minus 5 times minus 2 squared uh, plus minus 2. 5 plus 2 times minus 2. Okay, let me quickly do that now. So that's minus 5 times 4 minus 2 over 5. And 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. Minus 5 times 4 is minus 20. Minus 2 is minus 22, 
over 5 minus 4, that is 1, and that will equal to minus 22. Then. Now you can check it on your calculator. I just want to stress again um, that if you have a negative number, you're evaluating it for a negative x, and you have a square there somewhere, put brackets in your calculator when you square it, or use your brain, okay, and realize that minus 2 times minus 2 is a positive 4 and not a negative 4. Okay, I'll see you at the next part.